Today, I'll be showing you guys how to make a Roblox GFX in 4 minutes using Blender and Roblox Studio. So yeah, let's get it. Before we get into Roblox Studio and Blender, go to this website right here and download these free rigs. These are the rigs we're actually going to use in the GFX. Alright, first in Roblox Studio, we're going to import our character using a plugin like this one. Once your character is in, make sure to set the coordinates of it to 0, 0,3, 0 using the properties tab to make sure it exports from the right position. Now find your character in the explorer tab, right click it and then go down to export selection and save it on your computer. Then select all the accessories you want in the GFX and right click it and export this selection as well. Next go into blender and open a new file, go up to edit press preferences then go to add-ons in add-ons we're not going to install the rigs we downloaded from the beginning of the video so once you import it using this button you're now going to type it into the search bar and select it once you have it selected press this arrow and it should pop up here then select the body type you're going to use once you've selected your body type go up to viewports and press this button now go up to the shading tab and click on the rig go up to main texture press this x and import the character file we got from roblox studio now go down to face texture and open a folder called roblox hd faces this folder came with the downloads from the beginning of the video with the rigs next go back to the layout tab click file and import the accessories you downloaded for your character Click on your accessories, go to the right side and click this icon and scroll down and set your blend mode to alpha clip. Click your accessories again, hold shift and click this circle around your character. Now press control P and go down to boom. Select these lines around your character and now go to the top left and set this to pose mode. Now you can position your character however you need it to for the GFX. Once your character is posed, set this back to object mode. Click off the character, hold shift, click A, and now go down to camera. Now put the camera in the right position to get the shot for your GFX. To see where the camera is pointing, click this icon right here. Once you're done adjusting your camera, head over to this website called polyhaven.com. Press browse HDRIs and now you can just scroll until you find one that you like. Click on the one that you like, and then just download it to your computer. Now, go back up to the shading tab, set this to world, and zoom out until you find this right here. Click add, texture, and add an environment texture. Make sure to connect the dots so it actually works. From here, open the file you just downloaded from Polyhaven. Now, change your render port to this one, and you should see the texture you just downloaded around you. Go to the right side of your screen, click this camera icon, go down to film, and then click transparent. Now everything around you will be clear. To get the lighting in the right position, we're gonna rotate our character and the camera at the same time. So select both of them, press R, press Z, and then it'll spin on the Z axis. Once you're done adjusting your lighting, go back to object view. From here, you can adjust how your texture actually looks. So I'm going to put roughness all the way up and specular down. So it gives it that clean finish. I don't want any shine on my face. After you're done adjusting everything, go to this camera icon and set render engine to cycles. This may slow down your computer, but after a while it'll be fine. Now go to the top left of your screen and press render and then press render image. It will open a new window where your GFX will now be rendered. Once this sample counter is filled up, the GFX will be able to be saved to your computer. From here, your GFX is done. You can click image in the top left corner and save it to your computer. And yeah, that's just how you make a quick GFX.